2013 was quite a challenging year for Standard Chartered. We faced a number of external pressures, margins, very negative sentiment towards emerging markets, volatility in the wake of tapering that all affected our performance to some degree. And as a result, income fell by 1% and underlying profits by 7%. Looking ahead, our confidence in the opportunities our markets across Asia, Africa and the Middle East present is undiminished. This is where a lot of the world's GDP growth is going to come from, where you're going to see more and more of the world's consuming middle class. And that creates great opportunities for us across the things we're focused on, trade, investment, the creation of wealth. And trade is right at the heart of what Standard Chartered is all about. And we do aspire to be number one. And that means we need to continue investing in the business and continue winning market share. We're very clear on what our strategic aspirations are. We've reorganized the business so as to enable us to work across the boundaries of the different segments and product groups to make the most of those opportunities. We have a very strong balance sheet. We have great product capabilities, a fantastic team of people, and deep client relationships. So we're superbly positioned to make the most of what our markets in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East offer.